Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be doing an artwork heist. That's right. That's the only one, at least that's currently available that I have not done. I've done cash. I've done gold. I've seen what diamonds look like, which are the exact same as gold as far as like picking it up off of a trolley. But I had never done artwork before. And I was like, how does this work? Are we taking like the full picture frames with us? Like we're Nicolas Cage and National Treasure carrying the, uh, you know, Declaration of Independence out of a building. Like I thought it was going to be something wacky and wild like that. So I wanted to see what was going on here. This is also the first time in which I had done the Bug Stars entrance in the Big Con. I had always done the money uh, group sex one, and I'll tell you which one I think is better in a little bit. So as you guys can see there, it's just me and my friend Sorty. We're doing the artwork target during the big con. The entry disguise is bug stars, so we have to go in to the staff lobby. For the exit, I ended up choosing the waste disposal. I did the high level buyer. Uh, our exit disguise was firefighters. And then I ended up purchasing a clean vehicle and a gunman decoy. And after that, we were pretty much good to go and ready to get this thing started. So when you do the bug star approach, and by the way, we did this yesterday when the snow was still here. So if you guys are watching this like later today or tomorrow, the snow might be gone. Uh, we did this on, I think, New Year's Eve. And so you have to get in the bug star truck and you actually have to drive to the back of the casino and you'll be greeted at the staff entrance and that is where you have to come in so once you enter the building because you're in the bug stars suit you don't have immediate access to the vault as you guys can see there uh, our costumes only allow us to go to certain areas so some of the dots on the mini map are white some are red and that is overall why I believe the money truck group sex entry is way better because it automatically puts you into the vault because the bug star guys can't go to the vault. That just wouldn't make sense. And so because of that, you have to do a lot of extra work and sneaking around. So would I recommend the bug stars approach to this? The answer is really no, I kind of wouldn't. I mean, it's definitely fun to switch things up and sort of look at things from a different approach. But as far as the big con goes, this is one of the harder of the big cons. The money one is a whole lot easier. So you basically just have to go through Miss Agatha Baker's office, and then you have to hack into her elevator, which will get you access to the vault floor. Now, again, when you get on the vault floor, now you've pretty much entered like a silent and stealthy approach because you have to get to the vault without being detected. And that's actually pretty difficult. I didn't know how we were going to do this. Apparently, our only way in which we could get to the vault is if we silently knocked people out. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get to the man trap over here. And I ended up getting discovered. So that was probably my own fault. And I'm sure there's a super easy way in which you could actually get there. But we ended up getting caught. So we basically just went to the keypads. And now we had to get inside. And because the Bug Stars outfit also doesn't get you immediate access to the vault, uh, this is the first time I was actually using one of the power drills. And it's a little bit different than the laser drill. What you have to do is apply pressure on the four rings using the left stick and right trigger to control the drill power. This took me about like 10 seconds to figure out what the heck I was doing. But once I figured out that I had to hold down the left stick, it was actually really easy to drill through all of them. So it shouldn't take you that much time at all. And now we are in the vault. And I was like, how is this going to work with art? Again, I was like, are we going to put them in our duffel bags? And it turns out that you end up just cutting them out of the wall. Now, unlike the other items where it's cash and gold and diamonds where you just spam A to pick it up, this you actually have to cut them out. So the first cut is always going to be to the right. So you move your left stick to the right. The second cut is always going to be down. The third cut is going to be to the left. And then the final cut is going to be back up top. So you have to go back down instead of going up. And what happens is you put the artwork, you sort of like roll it up uh, like it's a school project and you just throw it into your duffel bag. And at least for me, each art was like $352,500. So those have got to be some like pretty priceless paintings right there. 
And I don't even know what the paintings are of. They're of like these abstract art of whatnot. So I was kind of confused on why they were so valuable. Uh, you can also see that there are some of your penthouse decorations in there as well. Now, the one nice thing about the artwork is it is the quickest, at least to get each piece. It only takes 18 seconds, where some of the other items like cash and gold take upwards of 30 seconds. And so only a couple of them are actually locked behind some of the fingerprint scanners. And if you're doing this on normal, you only have one fingerprint to crack. So it's actually pretty easy to get inside. Because we had already alerted the guards, I wasn't really worried about the gas going off. So as you guys can see here, we're sort of like counting down the final seconds. The nerve agent has been released. And I'm still in the vault trying to get this final painting. But I wanted every single one. And as you guys saw there, we were able to clear out the entire vault. Our final take was $2,350,000. So that was actually quite nice. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. Our work is actually pretty fun. So now we basically just had to escape this madhouse that was going to be a casino with literally only a pistol. So this was going to be kind of difficult, that's for sure. And so what we basically had to do was get our way up to waste disposal, which is where we were going to escape. However, because I knew we were going to take a little bit of damage, I wanted to end up hitting the insurance vault, which is something I recommend that you pretty much do every single heist if you have the opportunity. Now, if you're going out silent and stealthy, it might not be worth it to compromise your mission. But at least in this instance, we wanted to get the extra vault. So that's what I did. So when I started the vault, we had 2,271,000. And when I ended up leaving, I had 2,350. So we got about like $75,000 from that. So it was actually pretty good. Again, that's what I really call the insurance money right there. And then after that, it was time to get to waste disposal. So at this point in time, I had figured we had pretty much gotten the hard stuff out of the way because obviously we were going to have to deal with the noose and try to escape that. But our getaway cars were in a pretty good spot and we really didn't have any trouble. And I don't know if it's like certain types of contents allow you to run fast, but at least with the artwork, we were able to sprint full speed. We weren't like stuck in that like sort of half jog that you sometimes have to do. So we were able to get to these getaway cars very quickly. And then from there, it was really a piece of cake. It was just sort of escaping the cops now, doing this in the snow definitely made this a little bit harder than it normally is. And I think it actually took me a little bit longer to lose the cops because I ended up flipping my car a couple of times. But uh, you can just use snacks and body armor to keep yourself alive. And in this instance, we really didn't even have a need for the getaway car. I mean, we were trying to head there, but by the time we actually got to the getaway car, or at least the clean one, uh, the cops were still on us. So it really did us no good in order to change out into that car and again pretty much from there it was just you know get to the buyer and sell the final product and even though we didn't have an item as valuable as gold in our vault we still did the glitch where i was supposed to give sorty who was my friend in this uh the maximum payout so at the end of this we ended up getting way more than like 2.3 million dollars i think total we ended up getting like over three when it was all said and done because of the glitch that we ended up doing so we finally got the artwork to the buyers who were happy enough to accept it. And you can see what our take was there, which was actually pretty great. Now, what's nice about the artwork is there's actually no laundering fee. So I don't even know why we have to take it to those guys in the first place. But uh, you can see there on our final screen, uh, the laundering fee, fee of zero. So even though that's not like a ton of money, it's extra cash that you're putting into your own pocket. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually enjoyed the artwork one. It's kind of a fresh take on the Diamond Casino heist. And uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, would I do it again? Probably not. I think I would save myself for gold. Definitely diamonds when they arrive. But it was definitely fun to try once. And uh, it was pretty enjoyable. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What is your favorite vault content to get? Is it cash? Is it gold? Is it artwork like we did in this video? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 
and all the Diamond Casino Heist videos that I'm going to be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.